So good day everyone. Now we'll learn about a particle in the 1D infinite potential well. We'll look on how to get the energy levels for this kind of quantum mechanical system. So first, again, let's consider a particle of mass m and energy E in a 1D infinite potential well with boundaries from 0 to 8. So this means that for a 1D infinite potential well, yung potentials natin outside of the well, it is infinite. Outside of the well, the potentials are infinite. And inside of the well, the potential will be equal to 0. So using these potential fields, para nating nangyari is in-enclose natin yung particle within these walls. So dito lang pwede pumasok si particle bawal siyang lumabas ng 0 or bawal siyang lumabas ng greater than 8. And due to these potentials, we can get the Schrodinger equations for each of these cases. So the wave function outside of our potential well in these regions here since the potential is infinite this will be equal to zero since bowel mag exist yung particle don we can say that the wave function of that particle will be equal to zero no need for us to even consider the schrodinger equation anymore automatic na siya. inside of the well since u is x is equal to 0, yung e minus u natin naging e na lang siya. And we get this Schrodinger equation here. This is from 0 to 8. And this is similar to what we have for the free particle mode. But now, bounded na siya from 0 to 8. So we can solve for that one. The solution of that uh, Schrodinger equation is equal to a sine kx plus b cosine kx is equal to exponential i kx a natin. Ibang form lang yan. This is your sine cosine form. And the boundary conditions, since ang wave function natin is dapat continuous, this would mean that in the boundaries of a and 0 at x equals 0 and x is equal to a, the wave function must be continuous and the value of this wave function should be equal to 0. So now we substitute 0 and A into our boundary conditions. We get ito. Evaluating sine K0 is equal to 0. B cosine K0, B cosine 0, B is equal to a sine k a plus b cosine k a. We can isolate depending on sa ating uh, constants. So b is equal to b cosine k a and a sine k a is equal to zero. We know that cosine can assume values from negative 1 to 1. So for these two, for the left side and the right side to be equal, P should be equal to 0. Since 0 times any value from negative 1 to 1 is equal to 0. So we can get that B is equal to 0 and A sine KA is equal to 0. But take note though, A cannot be equal to to 0. Since if A is equal to 0, if A is equal to 0, then the wave function of X would be equal to 0. And this would mean that your wave uh, and if wave function ng X mo is 0 even inside the well, then this would mean that your particle will not exist. And it would violate yung ating assumption. So, bawal na 0 yung A natin. So this would mean that sine Ka would then be what is equal to 0. And for sine to be 0, yung x na nasa loob niya dapat, which should be equal to 0, equal to pi, or equal to 2 pi, or negative pi, negative 2 pi, or basically an integral value of pi. This would mean that for sine Ka to be equal to 0, Ka should be equal to n pi 
where n is an element or any integer. This will mean that k will be equal to n pi over a. And we'll see that magiging quantized yung ating k values. Since dapat integer multiple siya ni pi over a. So now let us put what have, what you've seen, yung k, yung b, and yung constants natin back into our solution. We'll then get the wave function solution x, b, a. Uh, wave function of x is equal to a sine negative uh, a sine n pi a x. Where n pi a is yung k natin kanina. So this one kanina is yung k. Putting this back into our differential equation, we have this. Second derivative of a sine n pi x a plus 2m over h bar squared e a sine n pi x a. Getting the second derivative of this one, this is equal to n squared pi squared over h bar squared, ah sorry, a squared negative times a sine n pi x a. Yan yung second derivative nyan. So this plus 2m h bar squared e a sine n pi x over a to the zero. Isolating e again to get the allowable energies for a particle in a one-dimensional infinite potential well. Cancel sine n pi x, cancel a. We get e is equal to n squared pi squared over a squared h bar squared over 2m. And we'll see here, meron tayong n. Yung n natin, again, this can only assume um, integral values. So, essentially, our energy is now quantized. Hindi na siya continuous. So, meron tayong gaps between energy values and we can illustrate it here. So, makita natin that the allowable energy levels for an infinite potential well will be bounded by integer multiples of n squared. So, n equals 1, 1, 4, 9, and 16, h bar squared, pi squared over 2ma. So, between these values, bawal yung energy natin, ito lang yung pwede. This one, this one, this one, and this one. That's why we say our energy is quantized na. Also, we can get the uh, value of A by applying the normalization condition to the wave function. So the normalization condition, this is yung wave function, the integral of the wave function at any, at all bounds, negative infinity to positive infinity, should be equal to 1. So the normalization equation, the normalization condition is that the integral of the square of the wave function from negative infinity to positive infinity will be equal to 1. And using this boundary condition or normalization condition, we can get that a is equal to square root of 2 over a. And the wave function will be equal to ito. So, yan yung ating uh, infinite potential well case for a 1D particle. So, important na malaman natin dito is that your energy, your energy would now be quantized. Hindi na siya continuous such that in a free particle. And makuha natin yung energy natin from... So the allowable energy levels is just integer multiples, or sorry, is the multiples, n squared multiples of pi squared h bar squared over a squared 2m. So thank you, and hope to see you in the next video.